Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom right hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the yellow Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Advil starting as the brown Terran. This is on Vermeer, a four player map. Just pretty sizable. Has. Actually, I should uh, do a map reveal on this one. I'm not sure that I've done this for Vermeer yet. If I have, apologies. Ramp here, the. I don't know why Lurker eggs have been so popular on every map since. I'm trying to think what the first one was that displayed them, but it seems like map makers cannot get enough of these lurker eggs, but natural expansion really wide exposed, which means Dragoon pressure could be a big factor as you could see them potentially wandering in. It's hard to get a, a low ground seal, so it makes it a little bit more challenging for Terran players to get their natural. You've got a third, which has a bit of a pocket enclosed in this ramp, which makes map control a little bit easier from here. You do have kind of the larger area, but basically if you kind of blockade that area on the minimap, You've got control of three bases without too much trouble, which means Terra can go to that 2-1 without too much hurt. And then at the 3 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock position, you have these bases, which are sealed in by just these single little areas, which I think sometimes it's a debate from Protoss whether to go for this expansion and put cannons around the exterior or go, go for the uh, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock expansions. As you can see, a pylon wall can allow a little bit more movement, and it's not so far away from the base if you're expanding away. Also, you have these map features in here, the spokes equivalently. So as I say, front door seal is a little bit harder to attain. Advil going ahead and placing his barracks down on the low ground. Supply depot there on the corner. Looks like Doodle is actually going to go for a 12 Nexus, which is pretty classic on a four player map. Risky in some circumstances, but there are ways to recover. It looks like Advil is going to scout it immediately. So now this is going to be a question of Advil's ability to respond to the 12 Nexus. He's got gas. The other thing is he's, ca he's catching this extremely early, so he should be in a good spot to react. So seize the Nexus, seize the gateway behind this. So now I honestly feel in this situation, it is less a test of, toodle, of, toodles, of Doodle's ability to defend the 12 Nexus, because I feel like it's pretty standard from here. You drop two gateways, sometimes a forge. And more of a test of Advil's ability to go after the 12 Nexus. It looks like he has an SCV on the low ground. The other option is he could just pull a bunch of SCV off gas and go for a faster command center. It looks like that is what he's opting to do, although he did so somewhat slowly after waiting. Here's the thing. If you're going to do that, commit to that, right? So it looked like he waited to get enough resources for the factory. I should say gas for the factory. Then slotted the SCV away from the mineral. And it looks like what he wants to do is go ahead and grab his natural expansion as a follow-up rather than uh, trying to go and attack into Doodle. So he's, he's going to be slightly economically behind. But here's the thing. Doodle, depending on scouting pattern, it looks like you're scouting the middle of the map. Make sure he wasn't. So it went upper right, now scouting middle of the map, making sure there wasn't any procs to anything. This is going to be a critical spot right here is that this Marine I actually want to see it at a forward position because it's kind of a funnel which oftentimes makes it easier to blockade things out, but putting Doodle in the dark would have been significant here. But Doodle able to sneak across, see only two Marines, so if only a, a single, actually just having those two Marines out front, I think Doodle, let's see if he makes another sweep, but if he's able to confirm this command center in the natural expansion, that is going to be absolutely huge for him, and I think sweeping down and seeing a bunker being built, Doodle has to know. Yeah, let's see if he, yeah, in the corner, sees the command center, that is absolutely massive. Because typically, in this situation, as Protoss, you're in the dark. You're wondering, okay, what kind of attack is coming out at me? And here, Doodle knows, like, okay, no attack. So I can feel free to play more defensively. I don't need shield batteries. I don't need to press the economy as hard. In fact, I wouldn't be shocked if Doodle, upon this, after plopping this pile and getting these initial two Dragoons out, goes ahead and grabs a quick third base to continue to seal that economic lead. Double factory being built behind this. From Advil. So Advil between the scouting information between that little bit. So at a potential disadvantage, but really that scouting information to follow, I think is going to be the critical bit because Doodle now knows there's absolutely no pressure on him as far as a follow up. So three o'clock base being checked out, six o'clock base being checked out just to make sure that there weren't any vultures or mines. So I think this does lend me to believe that Doodle is thinking about, okay, once I have my observer up, let me go ahead and maybe even before the observer get a quick third. Worker count actually in Advil's favor, so he's doing a really good job of macroing despite all of my 
Like, ah, this puts him in such a bad position. Comments. He's dropping double machine shop, potentially to get more siege tanks on the ground. And Doodle moving out with a significant attack force here. You've got four Dragoons, two Zealots. So things that potentially would have been on the defense now being part of the aggression there. He's not going to have Dragoon range, so he needs to set outside the range of this bunker. But SCV's blockading this. Could be a decent defense, but Doodle, this is enough where he, if he just slams and no SCVs currently repairing the bunker. A bunch flooding out, but that is not going to be sufficient. So the bunker is down. Only a single siege tank, two Marines left. The Marines completely wiped out. The Dragoons trying to mix it up at the natural expansion. The siege tank backing off. The Dragoons, are they going to focus fire that siege tank down? Two Marines now out of the bunker to try to join this defense force. The Dragoons still mixing it up. The SCVs losing a lot of mining time behind this. One Dragoon getting pinned in, but Doodle doing a lot of damage with that. First of all, forcing SCVs off the line. Secondarily, Advil does need to hold these here. Now three siege tanks out. So Advil now going to be in a better defensive position, but that was a lot of mining time and several SCVs to lose. The Dragoons popping back up, picking off Marine. Doodle really showing some strong play here. Getting... Whittling down those attack forces, getting damage where he can. It looks like he opened up Reaver before Observer. He is setting up to go ahead and grab that 3 o'clock base, which again, easier, easier to uh, defend with the, the pylon blockade. And allow the shuttle to go ahead and drop behind lines, just in case there was a starport follow-up, which does not look like it is going to be the case. We do have m Vulture Speed and Mines being researched, so... Advil wanting to follow this up with a counter push of four tanks, three marines, but the Dragoons right there at the six o'clock spoke, engaging this on the high ground. Misfire right there. Is he going to hold there? Yeah, just go ahead and hold that position. Advil going to return home. Nope, never mind. He's going to swing back around. Definitely going to test this. But coming in piecemeal, losing troops, is able to take out an additional Dragoon on the high ground, press it through, but that's a couple vultures that have been wiped out. Doodle taking out another... Yet another troop. This could be a quick match. A Reaver is out. The Reaver will definitely help with this defense. Advil moving cautiously and slowly. The Dragoons pressing forward, picking off the Marines. The Reaver looking for a group shot, able to take out that Vulture and that mine on the low ground. But the Siege Tanks, upon seeing that Reaver, not wanting to take more damage than necessary, flooding back. But Doodle continuing to get aggressive. Advil actually wanting to press into this and play aggressive is already setting up turrets at the 6 o'clock. It looks like he just wants to do a continuous push steadily to Doodle's natural expansion. I, I believe seeing that turret, he's going to be well aware of this. He's going to sweep the Dragoons to the south, get a pot shot with that Reaver. It looks like that's going to be a dud. An Observer is out to go ahead and prevent additional mine movement, so Advil is going to have to hold up short. He's tacking on a third factory. Siege check just about finished. But let's see if Doodle has enough to fight this off. He's got four gateways behind this. He's still got that Reaver and the Dragoon looking for a potentially a... Location to go for a mine drag into these attack forces. The Marines actually have all but one has been picked off. Which means that shuttle is going to have a little bit more free flight. Although that turret's still building to the north. Not a lot of Dragoons to fight back these siege tanks now. Looks like that third base has been grabbed. So Advil basically trying to hit. He's like, okay, think inside Doodle's head. I know he's going to go for another expansion behind this. So let me just now set up and do a steady push. Doodle with those troops out of position knowing that that bunker is empty, going ahead and pressing in to the natural expansion to disrupt more of Advil's mining. Advil, with all those siege tanks at the front, has nothing to defend here, loses an SCV trying to build the turret and having to pull out all of his SCVs out of the natural expansion. So now he's effectively mining at one base where Doodle is effectively at three. On top of that, he's not continuing to push. He's, he's getting delays at this push because he's got a bit of a segregated attention here. He's got these tanks unseized, but they're not steadily moving forward. Mind drag into the SEV line. I don't know that he caught a lot of SEVs with that. You can check the count if you want to rewind the video to see whether that was an effective shot or not. But these siege tanks waiting at home base. While that's happening, Doodle went ahead and got a sufficient attack force to squelch everything at the 6 o'clock. And huge shots on the SEVs at the main. The Reaver gets taken out, but not before plummeting. Advil's worker count, 230, and on top of this, Doodle able to just attack move to clear out the foothold that Advil had in the middle of the map at the 6 o'clock location. Doodle, with nearly double the supply now, just has to keep up the pressure and maybe go for a counter contain. 
at ad, uh, on Advil, and right now, Doodle can just tack on, and he already has, I love this, tacked on a bunch of additional gateways. His macro looking strong. Doodle looking brutally strong in this match. Doing everything right. Three o'clock base is up. Additional pylons being placed, because he knows he's going to have the economy to roll. It looks like he's applied, so when I say everything right, it looks like just a brief snafu in a supply cap, but it does not matter. Because he's at 112 supply versus the 56 supply of Advil. Advil in... A bad situation. Zealot with Zealot leg speed out there. Forge is coming online to work those upgrades. It looks like Observer Speed is being upgraded to go ahead and keep that the Observers tagging along that speedy army. Plus one weapons is finished for Advil. So small mercies, but plus two weapons not on the way yet. And Advil is not in a great position to kind of do that Terran shell up thing. Nice spread out by Doodle to try to absorb and slow down these tanks. It looks like he is going to end up losing another Dragoon on the front. But he's got another sizable army. Looks like he's got two shuttles worth of Zealot Bombs making their way towards the natural expansion. A single Goliath is there to defend, but that Goliath is going to have his work cut out for him. Needing to focus on two targets at once. One Vulture at least is denying what potentially could be the fourth base. The eggs opening up to move things down. Doodle pressing into this. The Zealots on top of the Siege Tanks immediately. The Reaver dropped amongst the Siege Tanks. Able to get... Good fire, the Reaver continuing to press forward. All of the Siege Tanks on the front are gone. The Dragoons attacking through what's left of that natural expansion wall behind this. Siege Tanks up on the high ridge. SCVs mixing it up against Zealots and Advil calling GG there. As Doodle, with fantastic play, in fact even expanding in the midst of this attack into the upper right hand corner. Brutal Protoss play, looking fantastic in this match. And actually with this match, Maybe I'm going to favor Doodle to take this season of Hasu League because that looks sharp. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.